Now let's test what we have so far. Instead of having to first publish the package to npm, we will be using an npm package called yelk, which allows us to test or use npm packages locally. First, we need to install it as a global dependency. That is npm install yelk dash g. I already have it installed, so I won't be running this command. Once installed, we can use it to publish our package locally using the publish command. We need to run the publish command inside the directory of the package we are trying to publish. So here yeah, I am inside the Adonis confirm password package directory. So I can run yauk publish. As you can see, the command has executed every steps we would do if we were to be publishing to npm, well, other than actually publishing to npm. So it ran the build command, which in turn runs the compile command. The compile command comprises of three things. First, it will lint the code. Then it will clean up the build directory. Then lastly, it will compile the TypeScript code. And as you can see, the package has been published with this name and this version. I need to update this name because so far I've been saying that the package will be namespaced inside the at Mese Labs organization. So let's open package.json, then update the name to include the organization. So at Mese Labs slash Adonis dash confirm dash password. And since the name has changed, I need to republish. So Yauk publish again. Now the package has been published with the correct name and organization. You will notice we now have a build directory that contains the compiled code, just as I explained in previous lessons. Now we can use the package in an Adonis JS project. Here is the Adonis JS project we started with, where we copied the implementation for the package. So now I'm going to install the package here and use the package instead. We can install a package that we've published locally using the add command, that is yauk add, then the name of the package. Now the package has been added into this project and if we take a look at the package.json file, we should see a reference to it. So this is the package and this is its reference. Next, we need to configure the package using node is configure then at maze labs slash adonis dash confirm dash password the package has been configured and the following files have been updated so let's take a look at the ts config file you notice we now have our package under the types section and this is because of the types we specified here Also, inside the .adonis.rlc.json file, our package has been added inside the providers array. Because of that is what we specified here. Now, let's update the code to use the package. So, inside the confirm password controller, I'm going to get rid of this and import confirm password from at IOC colon mise labs slash confirm password that is the ambient module we created in the last lesson so I await confirm password dot confirm and the first argument will be the auth object the second argument is the email address which we will get from auth dot user dot email then the third argument is the password which we will get from the request dot impute then password then lastly session we are now making use of the package next let's register the middleware we'll do that inside the kernel.cs file and we are going to register it as a named middleware so we are going to replace this with our package implementation import at ioc colon maze labs slash confirm password middleware again this is coming from the ambient module from the last lesson now let's head over to the browser and test to make sure that everything is still working as expected so I'm going to start the server. So I'm going to log in. Remember the confirm password middleware has been applied to the dashboard. If we take a look at the route file, as you can see. So let's try visiting the dashboard 
oh it cannot find the confirm password middleware class inside the confirm password provider let's debug this together let's head over to the package and check the confirm password provider so this is the line that is complaining about so we are requiring the confirm password middleware from the source directory aha this should be src slash middleware slash confirm password middleware again we need to republish the package for this change to take effect then inside our project instead of having to install the package again we can just do yalk update with the name of the package which is one thing i like about yalk so yalk update at maze labs slash adonis dash confirm dash password now the install package you should contain the latest changes now let's head back to the browser i'm going to refresh this doesn't seem to work i think we need to restart the server So it's working so we can access other part of the application but to access the dashboard we need to confirm our password which i'm going to enter and lo and behold it is working as before but now using our package 